And you can say that out loud instead. Where were all of you? That or... Alter. So... Trying... Trying to recall what we were fighting last time. You found yourselves in battle with a collection of large insectoid creatures. They were not identified. Eat. Right, we were at that farm, and we had to identify what was stealing livestock. Uh, and then they came out of the ground, and there were four of them, and they were evil. I remember. Mm -hmm. They ate the goat. I think there was five of them? There were about five of them, yes. Yes, they yeah. tried to make a meal out of some of you. Mm-hmm. You proved that that would be a little harder than expected. Hope so. Yeah. Well, basically, uh... Uh, Fanny's, was it your character's name? Uh -huh. Basically, single-handedly, uh, held off, like, two of them. Classic barbarian stuff. Yeah, classic barbarian stuff. Barbarian's the least concerning party member when it comes to a combat scenario. I mean, if they go down really fast, I'm pretty concerned. <laughs> It's the metric yeah. for which concern is caused. Yeah. yeah. Although, to be fair, as we saw, a barbarian can handle a lot more than what most of the rest of the party can handle. It might not be the best measurement to go off of. <laughs> but yes, due to some desperate healing attempts, uh, a lot of doggy piling and a centaur holding off two others. The party was able to deal with these large insectoid creatures and believing that you were done, you found that you had about half a day left with little to no spells left in your spellcasters. And, uh, well, the monsters were dealt with. All right. Now all you got to do is uh, give proof of the uh, accomplishment and get your, what was it you agreed upon? 75 gold? I believe so, yeah. I believe we left off right after you killed them, so you are still... In the field, I gotta check if I converted the field map over to this uh, version of the save, since this is the original campaign save. Uh, I did not. Well, I sort of spaced out during this, but I'm glad that we're all alive. Yeah. Thank you very much, Horseman. <laughs> I do what I can. Let's just throw up a quick grass map. All right, I'm going to um, collect the. Th the Four players will be relevant for this location. And I'm going to grab some tokens of these creatures to represent their dead. I it, no. I thought Lily was here. Lily yes. was, but the player is not. Oh, right. I forgot about that. And while a more dedicated dm would role play a play a missing player character i am not going to do that 
change the art because it reflects them a bit better. Mm -hmm. eh. Because the the official art of these things in the monster manual depicts them with these like nasty claws that don't exist because the creature doesn't actually have them. I have issues with the 5e monster manual. <laughs> Uh, yes, these nasty insectoid creatures have been dealt with, and some of them have their heads caved in. Others are merely shredded up at their lower... Actually, I think most of them, you smash their heads in. Nice. Oh, hey. Uh, she's not going to be here either, so... Uh... You can go rest, go rest. <laughs> well, I suppose we better collect some heads and get on out of here. And their shoulders. And their knees. Alright, you, you can have those if you like. Alright. Yeah, I'll just take a head. <laughs> with, uh... Um, with no skill relevant worth rolling for this it is not a difficult thing to take off the head of a surviving one especially or uh one of whom's head is still intact uh especially if you're not trying to like keep it in any preserved state you just want to rip some of it off for proof of conquest yeah Okay, uh, so you can rip off one of these insectoid heads. Um, and, uh, well, I assume you want to return back to town. Yeah, I do. All right. You'll return with your trophy and your two companions who are just not pictured, so I don't get them confused. Oh, do you still have my hat image? Oh. <clears throat> no. Oh, no. No. That's important. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I can try and collect it. I will open Oops. a third instance of map tool and try and find that token for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Load. Open. This campaign. Here's hoping I didn't... Delete it. Uh... Uh... uh nope, it's gone. No. I'm sorry. It's fine. Uh, I can, uh, do this instead. Um. Oh, no. I've lost it. I have lost the, the assets. Because I want this. I, I put too much effort into making that derpy change to your token. It needs to exist. Come on. Uh, there's that. Okay. I, I am indeed literally going... through and trying to find it so you can quickly put it back together where's the hat <laughs> where'd i put the hat i know i saved it somewhere it is worth the effort to me uh, 
if I could find it. Where the heck did it go? Um, that's... Oh, I found it. Aha. First, I forgot to do that. Uh, and I've almost got it buying stuff time because she just came in as well so she can get her stuff set up and oh I should probably go do you want a round or a square uh shape for Make your a round shape a round one yeah okay. or whatever is easier they're both easy enough it, it's it's just a quick template thing All right. Um, okay. Well, I'll just return you guys back to town. Grab this token. And... Up. Boom. You have the hat back. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, you still have... Kind of a portion of your evening, though a pretty decent amount of resources have been expended. Although, uh, Toaster has not expended his resources. Toaster and Imarin were left behind while you lot took on this job. Right. Oh. Wow, you you all look rough. Uh, there there were bugs. I'm just gonna go. I'm I'm going to go out on a limb and say that they weren't just normal bugs. Uh, you you might be right that they uh came out of the ground and stole sheep and ate them. Uh, and then they came out of the ground and almost ate some of us. <laughs> sheep? How big were these bugs? He's got a head. <laughs> yeah, oh. just... It's this large, shielded-headed kind of uh, insectoid form with these massive scythe-like uh, mandibles for, uh, for a mouth. Stephanie's throwing a fit on her computer because it won't start up quick enough. That's, that's... That's pretty big. I'm just gonna exit this guy. He's not, he's not out here right now. To me, or to sign my name. Sorry, I'm so late. I had to pick up stuff at the store. Else, I wouldn't have been able to tomorrow. So, oh. hi. Hi. Welcome. You've gotten back from bug slaying. Yes. Evil bug slaying. Well, I don't think I would consider the slaying of the bugs to be evil. No, I was considering the bugs themselves to be evil. I see. I mean, they killed Willy. <laughs> you mean the, the sheep that we used as bait? You mean the goat? That the goat. Majestic in every way. L Lily, <laughs> did you name the goat after yourself? No! Willy, W I L L Y, and oh. I it. 
Yeah, I could not see how those are similar names at all. Clumsy me. <laughs> yeah, besides, it was the farmer who named it, not me. But poor Willie, you know. Got it. Yeah. I will mourn the loss of your goat. All right, I'm done mourning. It's fine. I knew it for like three seconds. <laughs> but hey, I paid a full three silver for it, so. <laughs> you, you paid for it? Yeah, I paid for it. Why? Because it's a goat that provides income for the farmer, and I felt it was necessary to. Um, you know, a for his loss. You know, make it so that he wouldn't feel the sting as bad. I mean, it is his livelihood. Sure, but you all, you know, you also caught big giant mar monsters for them. So yeah, which is why he gave me a discount. We shouldn't dwell on whether or not we should have taken a part of a, a peasant's livelihood too long, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I'll just... You have, you have a good heart, Lily. Thank you. I think I have a good heart, too. Works for me. <laughs> it's a joke. It's funny. Oh, oh I... So, ow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, solar. Yes. Nice hat. Thank you. I tried very hard to not damage the hat during the fight. Oh, you didn't... You didn't... Alright. I didn't what? I did nothing, never mind. Okay. Huh. I'm just gonna rest my head on the I... table. All right. Well, you have returned to to the tavern. The guide is as where he is always. We brought some bug heads. Bug heads. Well. <clears throat> What was killing the goats? You brought uh, evidence of it at least. Uh, it's pretty big. Mm-hmm. We're nasty. Almost killed two of our people. I can uh, see a bit of the damage. Well, then. Uh, Assuming the problem's taken care of, uh... If this, uh, is the problem, uh, the predator that's been causing us problems, then, uh, I see no reason for you not to get paid. Uh, I don't see no, any reason for it not to have been. We used a goat to bait it out of the ground. Mm-hmm. Poor Billy. We'll kind of just nod to that and... Well... If more problems come up anyway, uh, it just means more jobs to do as long as it's not too often of a repeat, right? Yep. I would agree, yeah. Alright, well, you, uh, settled with the opening wage of 75. I've had the bag settled out for you, and he fishes one of many bags of coin from his belt, and 
plops it down onto the table. It has a marking on it that seems to indicate which job it's attached to. Very nice. Alrighty. Oh, also, Josh, just letting you know, I don't see the tavern at all. It's just the normal screen. Oh, yay, thank you. We, but um, there is the other job still though if you're biking up enough I wouldn't recommend picking up a fight if you are not ready to do it I agree I am out of spells yeah can I wait the night it can wait it's been going right. on for a few days. I reckon the evidence in the trail isn't going isn't going to go cold immediately. Alrighty. Well, I'm inclined to think that this crew needs a rest. Indeed. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to note something. You still got like a fourth of a day. You don't need to put yourself into dangerous situations and could still do things before you take for an evening's rest. True. So, you can spread up your coin, uh, and if there's somewhere or something that you want to uh, go to or do, uh, like, say for example, you could participate in some short versions of, like, a downtime action, like Maybe trying to spread word of your accomplishments, or or listen for rumors, or things like that. Ooh. Seek out conversation with an NPC that you've met. All right. I see that the the receptionist seems to be a different character now. No, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> person we've never spoken to why have you changed <laughs> <laughs> well you're back out the fourth quarter of a day okay so how are we splitting up this it's 75 and Or should we all like meet in a room, like one of our rooms, and split it that way? Are we talking about payment? And I just need to know because you know I'm the one who's keeping track of our old funds. All my pencils are gone. Where are my pencils? What is gone? Uh, no, no. My things are going to crap right now. Uh. Stuff shuffling. A lot of stuff. Uh, whatever. Is she actually a different person, or is it just a different picture? It is a different person. Oh. Someone else is working the counter. And she's been. Whoever this person is needs to pick up some of the slack. The other person's been working for like a week straight. <laughs> we should probably introduce ourselves to the new one this time. 
Okay. Alright. <laughs> I swear. Every time I come back, I'm out of breath. Okay. That was fun. That was fun. Alright. So it was 75 gold, right? And there's. Let's see. One, two, three. Six of us? No, seven of us. Where's Zilros? Their player isn't here. Around. Yeah, they 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 can't make it today. Goodbye, goodbye. Oh, what's... Ugh. shoot computers sometimes. Goodness. Let's try and find it. get. Let's see. If we put some into our group fund, everyone get would get um nine gold. Three silver and seven copper. Nine gold, three silver, seven copper. Yep. Yo. I know. And that's um counting everybody. I'm not gonna decide how you're going to split your stuff, just Yeah, that that's counting everyone, including the ones who weren't here last time. It, don't worry about me. I don't need anything for I don't need anything. I wasn't there for it. Are you sure? I am sure. You're positive. I should put my I gold am very in positive. my money no, bag. We need to have to do more math. He doesn't need to go as greedily after coin in this edition. No magic items to upgrade to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are magic. Sure, that, that's what I was thinking about. Yeah, that was totally what you were thinking. That would be two... Four, five, six. Let's see. <clears throat> so it'd be twelve, twelve gold and five silver. Even. Strangely enough. And that would be twenty-eight our funds. Do, 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 do. Twenty-eight. Okay. And then do, 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 do. do, do. Okay, we're good. That takes care of that math. <sighs> yep, that's that's what I'm doing. Just let me know the. So there were technically five of us in the the battle. But I divided it by six, so that that sixth part goes into our gold fund. So. There you go, Solar. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, okay. So how much do we each get then? Uh, Twelve gold and five silver. Alrighty. Right. Oh. Now what? <laughs> That's for you to tell me. What are your next actions? What do you do? I want to say hello to the new lady. 
because she's right. new. Who's with me? Hey, there's a new lady. Good luck in there, champ. All right. Lead in with you. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Sorry, I know that was the McDonald's theme, but. And you can see, uh, there's, oh, yeah, there's somebody new at the counter, uh, Shire-looking, uh, lady. She doesn't hold the same kind of uh, countenance as Mary did. Hmm. Wait, are we done with the three days of um stay or? I think you're only that? on. Okay. We've done one. You've done one day. night. I think you're you're. This would be your second night. This this day's night. Yeah. So you still have two more nights. Hello. Oh wait. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Are you sure? Because we we stayed that one night, and then the next morning the the guild person. Right, you're on your last night. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, thinking yeah. about it, because you went to the to the, uh, we to the lookout, the, the, and then you rested, yeah. and now you've taken on bugs. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're on your last night. Okay, that's what I thought. So do we have to keep paying for it, or is that included with the... That is not included. The discount yeah. is a byproduct of the Grand Banker's support, though. Should we, like, buy three more days, then? That's kind of aimed towards Solar, so... Uh, well, we have at least one more job, so it couldn't hurt. Okay. And we have... I need to make sure I'm counting correctly. So there's two, four... No, Thanos is sleeping out in the stables. Two, four, six. So we have six people. Did we rent two rooms? You rented three. Three. Okay. Yeah, you effectively rented each one of the rooms on this side. Okay. Do, do, do. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to walk up and say hi. Hello. All right, let's see if the setting... Nope, those are too too extreme. It's too, too extreme. It needs to be more subtle. Yeah. Uh, um... Welcome. Well, welcome to the uh, Flaming Flower Inn. Do you need a room? Actually, we would like to keep renting our rooms. Uh, um, you already have a reservation? Um, yeah, so we have three rooms. They, they, these, the, the, these three on the side over here. Um, okay. Uh, and she pulls out one of the books. Uh, pulls out the book and uh oh yeah yeah I, um yes you you've got one more night on your uh on your uh payment yeah i was thinking uh i was wondering if we could just extend that by a couple more days um yeah it's a it's a a silver for a night uh okay. per room so uh how how many days do, do should i extend your your claim um let me check what, what do you think solar should we should we do like two more days three more days uh, let's do three just to be safe three okay yeah so three three more days for the three rooms there okay i'll, I'll extend you out into to the next week uh for three more days she quickly pens down onto the page scratches off the current uh, date, and then tallies a few more. Uh, how um, much... is that all? Yeah, how, how much more extra is that? Um, your, your total price, uh, for the days would be, uh, nine, nine silver. Nine, nine silver? Okay. Um, yeah, sure, okay. Um, let me just, uh, fish those out, um, Da, 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 da. Silver. I I have a gold. You have two. I, <laughs> I have seven silver. 
Wait, you have ten silver? I have seven. Oh, seven. Uh, I have I have five. So <laughs> between us, we have seven, eight, and nine. So ten. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> just keeps <laughs> counting on his fingers. <laughs> no, I just took your complete word for that. I'm like, I didn't even do the math. I was like, yeah. Five plus seven totally equals ten. Oh gosh. <laughs> Wait, no, nine. And that would be thirteen. So Oh. Um, let's see, seven, eight, nine. Um how about um I do four and you do five. Okay. Okay. Um and then I will make sure that I'm counting out the silver correctly. <laughs> okay. So you're putting down nine silver? Yeah. All right. You'll uh, take that. And, um, thank, thank you for your uh, patronage. Yeah, thank you. And what, what was your name? Uh, um, I, I'm, I'm Cariel, uh, Anne Cariel. That's a pretty name. Uh, I'm, like I'm a new worker for Mary. Well, she is just on the moon that you're able to help her out. So, uh, um, thank you. You'll do great here. Um, is is Mary? Is she okay? Uh, she is fine. Um, uh. The other uh, girl, she she wasn't available to come to the work, so um, so I was hired. Um, I, I've been brought on just to work uh, for taking care of rooms, no other services. Well, good luck. Yeah, and thank you for doing what you do. Hit my Good awesome job. hat. <laughs> <laughs> You feel a strange shift of weight in your hat. What? Huh. Can I, like, take it off and look? Yeah. In? Hey, you look inside. Um. You don't seem to figure out what it, what it was. <laughs> I think my brain moved. I'm going to put my hat back on. <laughs> okay. I think you. your brain moved. That's yeah. a weird thing to think. Anyway, let's let's get back to everyone else. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. You're you're welcome. <laughs> Apparently that's my theme today. <laughs> <laughs> Just McDonald's it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Gryffindor. Sorry, the. Okay. Catman chat. Yes, yes, indeed. I'm gonna engage Henry the Twenty First in conversation. Uh, hello. Excuse me. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, the uh, horseman. Uh, yeah, that would be me. Um, what do you do for fun around here? <laughs> uh, well, uh, um, well, uh, um, we, we get drunk when we got the coin for it, uh, though we, we normally, uh, save that for the later evening, um, uh, I mean, there's nothing quite like that after a long day of, uh, of hard work, um, uh well they they uh they moved out there there used to be some uh uh working girls but that that's not really an option right now uh right. and we uh um I don't think they'd take my business anyways <laughs> I I would gander yeah uh, um only the more questionable ones might uh yeah. Yeah, I I'd reckon you'd probably be turned away from any uh 
proper establishment. <laughs> Kinky. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Pretty apt. <laughs> um, it, it, we're, we work all all the time, so it's a little hard to to say that as much we do for for fun. That's uh, that's mostly a. Uh, uh, kids stuff but i do know on weekends we we uh sometimes get a little time to to take for ourselves and if the priest is in town we we visit with the priest and hear some sermons again not much fun but um i know every once in a while we have like a, a wrestling contest uh, you know when we've had a good harvest and or a, a decent trade comes through they're not exactly scheduled. We just kind of, when we've got the time and something big happens, uh, we we throw together a little bit of stuff. All right. Fascinating. Well, thank you for your time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, n uh, no problem. You can just kind of, it's not the most quiet whisper, but he's like, did you, did, the, the horseman just talked to me. <laughs> Uh, well, that wasn't a whole lot to go on for what to just do around here. <laughs> yeah. That's a growing working town. Yeah. They don't always have as much time for uh, for leisures. Frivolities. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Ah. Vabalan will continue to uh, kind of serve drinks around and the uh, offer meal and drink for no price because of the work you've been doing uh, for the guide. Thank you much. All right. It's time to do this. Gimmerin's actually going to take a drink and he is going to he's going to try to down it all just in one big old gulp. Hey, maybe maybe you should uh, you you seem like you're a little wet behind the ears. Maybe you should um pace yourself for the the first my, time. <laughs> I I do wash behind my ears. Yeah, so <laughs> And I'm gonna he's just gonna try to down it all. Right. Uh all right. Well Okay, give me a constitution save. Oh no, he fails. It's just I declare he fails. This is this is yeah, this is this is the first time Emirates ever drunk they got tried to get drunk before. It could just be if it stayed yeah. down could be the constitution save. Yeah, all right, let's see this. Yeah. Uh well, that plus two. You don't chuck it up. Um you do manage to go up and down. Zero. It's also not low enough that you immediately pass out. <laughs> yep. Yeah. No. Yep, so there it is. You're you're feeling a weird tingly sensation and your thoughts are starting to get a little wobbly. Just I mean, you're completely get fine. It, you're you're completely it all mentally down at fine. The same, you just you just got to get it all down at the same time. You just got to do not. <laughs> you just got to take it you got to do it hard and fast. That's what they say. That's if you're taking shots. <laughs> Emirate, so, are you okay? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, somebody will want to keep an eye on on the young sir at least uh, till he's passed no, out. I, I am. Y you're I completely am fine. Yep. I <laughs> can't. I'm see trusting right him now, with you. Can't, you can't see it because Emirate's disguise is on, but he is like. He is. 
Uh, oh, Imran's just sweating underneath his disguise. <laughs> My gosh. You know what? You know what this calls for? I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Strip, strip, strip. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm gonna go take a walk. Uh, maybe clear it, my head. instead of instead of taking a walk, if you feel like you need to clear your head, just go lay down. No, I, I, no, it'll be fine. All right, then I am coming with you. <laughs> I'm not a. I'm not a kid anymore. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fifteen. <laughs> uh. Practically an adult. <laughs> and have you have you had booze before? Have I had what? Booze before. <laughs> before today. <laughs> sure. I don't Absolutely. believe you. I am com I am coming with. <laughs> and we're just gonna walk out the door. <laughs> okay. Uh as you wander out, you do notice um Mary is actually on her way to the, uh, uh, to the inn. She doesn't seem quite jovial, though she doesn't always seem to really give off much of a mood at all anyway. And just enters in. Hey, hey, it's Mary. Solar, it's Mary. <laughs> we should finally introduce ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy I already introduced myself oh yes, ma'am. you should do it again while I do it for the first time oh okay we wanna head in first <laughs> I like the flipping <laughs> of the token wah, 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 wah. okay uh, as you enter in you catch them in a brief bit of conversation, it seems. Uh, she says, uh, you, you just hear a little bit of, like, um, uh, um, Mary saying something about, uh, Beltella, I, she didn't show up to shift today. I checked her home. Uh, oh. Uh, hello. hello. I am Solar. I'm going to walk find Lily after that. <laughs> hello, Solar. <laughs> He just wants to introduce himself because we're sticking around in the in the inn for a while. Yeah, you're the uh, ones taking up the uh, east rooms. Yep, that's yeah. right. Oh gosh, I'm spitting water all over the place. I swear I'm a viper. Goodness gracious. Is everything all right though? Yeah. <laughs> Make a persuasion as, check. As I talk, I just I. I keep spitting out water. This is totally not in character. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just like... You know, You're just you know constantly salivating. You, you know gleeking? You know what gleeking is? Her. Yeah, where you, you just... You randomly squirt out water? I've done that twice in the past, like, three minutes now. <laughs> so, anyway, that's what that was about. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, give me a, perse a persuasion check. A persuasion? Yeah. Uh, I have a... Wait, for who? Uh, Solar, you're the one who asked if everything was alright. Right. That's a 13 with nothing to add on. Nothing to add. <laughs> um, it, it's not much. One of my girls didn't show up and she hasn't been at her home, so... I... She might just be uh, off doing a her own business on the side um if it, it's it's not much okay if it does get bad we we've killed monsters so i'm sure we could find somebody i'll keep that in mind it's a weird way of putting it cool but really if you need any help at all we can help you out it's no, no big deal. And since you've dealt with his weirdness, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll, I'll thank you. 
Um, but it should be solvable by our own efforts. Let's hope so. But no, that's just out there, just in case, you know, given a helping hand. That's what we do, apparently. That is what we do, right, Solar? I believe so. Was I wrong? <laughs> I, I think so. I mean, we've helped two people now. Yeah. So. And we've got a third on the side, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that, that's what we do. Uh-huh. Oh, thank you. All right, well, Pam, you've introduced yourself, so I guess uh, we will go back to people. All right. Goodbye. All right. Um, right. And on your way out, you can hear her say, "And your your shift is over for the day. You can you can go home." And such. She'll take well, over man, for the evening. Amazing. <laughs> Womp. It's been amazing for the five minutes you were there that we saw you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically she was covering the midday shift period, which you guys weren't even in town for, so. <laughs> like for the five minutes she was there, she was awesome, so. Has she been there every day that we just haven't been here? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's in a new hire. Oh, right. But you, did, but you did hear, like she said, there was a different girl who would do the work. Yeah. Mm. Sure, it's fine. Yeah. They're to totally fine. There's no such thing as monsters. Things are always fine in D&D. &D. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh. Like last session. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, my boots are disappearing. Let's see. Um, mm. You all find out what's making them disappear? Yeah, never, sure, no it's problem. It's probably never not just... Not like. <laughs> like that, I don't know, a wolf or something. No big deal. No, no, giant freaking bugs. That's what it is. Giant bugs. First the goat should disappear, <laughs> then your friends. Like giant mantis bugs. They're great. <laughs> oh, you didn't see the updated art stuff. Nope, I didn't. I updated their visual to better reflect what the creatures should actually look like. And uh, I think you'll you'll quite enjoy seeing this. So give me one moment. Uh, oh, that. It's just a oh, 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 look yeah. out! So it's more like uh, Men in Black cockroach <laughs> alien. Stuff. Oh shoot! Yeah. <laughs> it it's a it's a lot more. Uh, well, for one, that explains the stat block better. <laughs> <laughs> the official art has them with these large claws. They don't exist on the stat block because they don't exist on the monster. The artists were just told do something and then... I... <laughs> anyway, if I get started on the monster manual, I'll be stuck here for a while, so let's move on. <laughs> hey Toaster, can I go buy something? <laughs> well, um, well, I don't want to have to talk to the shopkeeper. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> also, are we just, you know, gonna eat the canary you... over here? I want to try. Can you take me to the grocery food. store? <laughs> <laughs> just like the reply yeah i'll wait here for you <laughs> he's like no so, so what should what should we order i'm thinking about getting goat lo um goat lo uh, do you mean cheese we can have the same argument but <laughs> <laughs> i'm really goat trying shoot, you know what well, you call it goat loaf, but but I need like a similarity, like something I recognize. I still need to try this cheese that you mentioned. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, if you're gonna go shopping, I need you to actually tell me where you're going or 
what you're looking Walmart. for. Um, a herbalism kit, and then um, maybe a book. Kind of depends on if that's if that changes price for being a small blank book. A very tiny blank book might not be on the market. Hmm. Uh, the tiny scale is a bit specialty item. How about s smallish then? I didn't have. A smaller size um, one. They do have a few. Uh, yeah. Well, buying a book in particular. Uh, looking for somebody who does. Paper. Okay. What? An empty book. Uh, are you looking for like a spell book? No. No? Just an empty book? All right. Yeah, just an empty book to write things in. Uh, there is a... Okay. What? What is a book salesman called, anyway? Or a bookmaker? Uh, I don't know. I think in Minecraft it's just a librarian. <laughs> Uh, bookmaker or a bookie. <laughs> nice. Oh. Or a, a turf accountant. Hey, you wanna come up? That's interesting. Those are words. Nope, those are those are for uh um uh gambling. What mm. we're gonna call them a book binder. Okay. There is a book bi oh, binder in town. Okay. It's a small shop. Yeah. Book binder looks like that's actually kind of the actual term. Uh, he is a. It's a small place. Definitely does not get quite an amount of affordment. Uh, probably because okay. in a small growing town, books are the lower commodities people are going to be interested in getting. Um, but they're capable of selling you a book. Uh, asking price for a blank uh, bound book with some le basic leather work, uh, hide binding uh, or covering. Uh, that'll run you something around five gold. Okay. Yeah, he would want that. Okay. Yeah. As for a herbalism kit, that's a collection of her making stuff. There is not a in-town apothecary. Um, whomever you ask says that whenever they have to get some kind of herbs or medicine, they go to the wizard outside of town. Hmm. And I, I, I po poise it like that because I know you have <laughs> opinions on wizards. Mm. He, would, he would be okay going there if Toaster does the talking. And Forku stays in the backpack. <laughs> Has Toaster ever even met the wizard? think so. No, okay. He has not. Okay. Notedly, the book is a small size, not a tiny size. Okay. So it's about uh, two and a half pounds. 
Uh, so we're going to round down to two pounds, basically. Good evening. Okay. Uh, if you want to go meet the wizard, this is going to be interesting. Without a microphone. Mm -hmm. Well. Can you hear me? I can. Yeah. Perfect. It's yeah, like this magic. is a really sketchy setup. I have to hold my cord in a very specific way, so I'm not going to use this the whole time, but I can for this. Okay. Moment. All right. Um, outside of town, there is a wizard's tower that you are pointed to. Upon approaching, uh, you notice a crow sitting out at the front of the door, uh, door that um, seems to focus its attention on you, and then the there isn't actually a door until there is a door, which opens on its own for you. Oh. All right. <laughs> um, I go through the opening door. All right. Uh, sitting at a round table at the center, uh, up. There is kind of a an older kind of grade human. Uh, sat at his table and now he'll just uh ah come in come in hello there all right he'll gesture for a seat that you can take so i'm um, not the most familiar with you but i believe uh You've been accompanying the others that I saw come into town with the Minotaur and such? I have, yes. Uh, most people just call me Toast. Oh, well. I am Marizel Evanstar. I'm the a town's aficionado wizard. Uh, so, what brings you to my tower? I notice, and he kind of glances... Uh, what actually i've got a question what in what form do you keep your spells your spell book effectively is that the wizard asking me yeah uh, well i'm asking you so i can know because he would be able to spot a, a spell book if it's carried okay. on the outside of a person yes i'm pretty sure it is a spell book that's what i think i put down so yeah it's a spell book okay so yes, I, I carry a spell book. Hmm. I see a practitioner of magic. I know it's a bit standoffish, and it puts some of your uh, traveling companions uh, at a bit of a dis-ease. But I have to inform you, uh, don't go using your magic to cause problems mm -hmm. in the town. We wouldn't want a witch hunt. If you start causing problems, blah blah blah, I'm going to destroy you. Understandable. Now we've got that out of the way, yeah. for what reason do you come? I'm in search of a herbalism kit. Ah, a kit for uh, grounding down and working herbs. Uh, uh, I have a few that I can uh, part with. That would be most kind if you. I can collect them up and we can talk about payment. Perfect. That works just as well for me. We'll just collect up a few items, uh, mortar and pastel, the various items required to make a herbalism kit, and then bundles up them up in a spare bag of his. And he'll kind of place it on the table. Hmm. Judging by your appearance, I would assume Janassi or uh, Ifrit, I assume. Father is an Ifrit. I am yeah. fire Janassi. So that would that would make you an ifrit, I think. Yeah. Well, uh I haven't really had many opportunities to study such, and I have a friend who is constantly interested in exotic materials. How about this? You grant me a small portion of some kind of material of yours. Uh, hair, blood, something that has your signature and I can give this to you for free. What? Uh, 
what does your friend do with these kind of exotic materials he's supposed to be doing? He's a alchemist invested in some kind of what he believes a breakthrough in the fields of alchemy. Oh, okay. And you think something from my traits would help with that breakthrough? I think he would be interested, uh, at least to some degree, yeah. I don't know the full details of his studies. I long since left the uh, Alchemist's Creed myself. Uh, but I keep in contact with him. and He lives up in the northern parts of this area. I can quickly get resources to him, and he shares things with me. And such. Um, if we were talking just money in general, how much would it cost to get the gear for the hurdles? Okay. Oh, I could part for it for about five gold. It's not a hard collection of tools to, to come up with. I just see an opportunity in front of me. I see. Some more. Okay. So if I were to give you five gold in my blood instead, that would be our trade deal? Yeah. Just a small portion. I could even take your uh, a portion of... Well, blood would be the best. It's the life source, the essence of a being. I have no fear. I have no intent of enacting some diabolical ritual with such. My companion is quite set in... Or my friend, shall I say, is quite more set in... Uh, different fields of study. You have no fear of the external powers being involved. Okay. Um, yeah, that would work. Do you have, like, a vial or something? Yes, I can uh, set you up to collect. Just give me a bit. Okay. Killed, I'll head up, and not to go into the nasty details, unless you want to continue conversation. He'll just collect a small amount of blood. It's, it's a little bit painful, you know, minor incision and such, but he gets a small vial of it. We're talking no more than maybe uh, from his middle finger to his pinky size kind of fill of this, uh, or a uh, vial. Yeah, no, that works. I was ready to forego, like, attack on Titan kind of thing, but yeah, that works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, he hands you the kit, and you will, uh, on your way, he'll just kind of voice, by the way, um, I'm not sure if your friends are still interested in investigating that Dulahan business, but I did send word for a companion of mine to arrive with some old notebooks on certain matters that might involve their interests. So, in a day or so, he should be arriving, and I'll contact you if you're, you lot are interested. Yeah, sure. That works. Um, yeah. Sorry, I don't know where the um came from. <laughs> cool. Yeah. All right. I think they would be interested in that. Yes. And uh, as long as you uh, behave well, I am welcome to have another practitioner of the arts in the area. Perfect. I'm glad someone else shares the interest. Yes. Well. Um. Happy trails. Have a good evening. On the way out, can I say something? Just like before I close the door? Or sure. I guess before it closes? Okay, I'm just going to turn and say, oh, heads up, don't let the blood dry too fast. And then that's just going to be that. I'm just... Okay. Thank All you. Right. Cool. As you kind of walk away, the door will transmute itself back into a stone... Uh, a stone surface that's so cool <laughs> yeah wizards towers they are quite transformable all right i'm just gonna hold it out in front of me now and just say all right floor two i got you your music. um do you do you want me to like pay you for that i don't mind no it's good we're buddies um okay thanks cool. Cool. 
next step, I guess. <laughs> What's next? Hmm. Well, it's for you guys to tell me what you do. What are you doing? Next morning. <laughs> I'm gonna try a little bit of red salt before bed tonight. Oh no. It's time for science. <laughs> okay. A You're gonna try money. a pin. You're gonna try a, a a pinch of it. It's a little, just a tiny a little pinch bit. of his money. Yes, exactly. I'm going like in my room. I'll reach into my coin bag, take the coin worth a little extra on it, and just. Okay. Here's the important question. Are you putting it on your food? Are you taking a full dose, or are you just taking a tiny sprinkling raw? All three of those have different rules I need, I, I've devised for myself that are relevant to the situation. It's gonna be One a of the... tiny sprinkling raw. A tiny sprinkling raw. In my room. Okay. It was nice knowing you. You put a tiny bit of the stuff on your tongue. Uh, okay. So here's what happens. Say that this is a bad idea. First of all, science. At first, it seems almost like a regular salt, a bit of salt. But as it quickly dissolves on your tongue, you feel a strange sensation go through your body. It's very light since you didn't take a full dose of the stuff, but. A, from an outside perspective, your eyes dilate. Uh, from an inside perspective, you feel a sudden sense of euphoria. This this strong burst of just overwhelming positiveness. Like you could fight a dragon barehanded and, and win. Like you just feel on top of the world. It's amazing. Uh, <laughs> Now, here's the thing. It doesn't last long because it's a tiny sampling of it. And as it wears off, here's the scary part. I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw DC 6. It's half the normal DC because you didn't take enough to be a full dose. Okay, I have plus 3 in wisdom. <laughs> Rolls a 1. 7, baby! 7! <laughs> You do not develop a red salt addiction yet. Oh, wait, no, I have plus five in that. So that's even better, a nine. Nine. Yeah, you don't develop an addiction yet. However, <laughs> it is worth noting. For the next 30 in-game days, if you take any other doses, the DC will go up by four for every dose you take. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Please don't take any more. Oh, you don't know what's going on. I'm in my room. <laughs> do it. No. You do not feel any special reaction with your symbiote yet. Play roulette. Give the red salt to your symbiote. Is Imaran back yet? Uh, that's for Imran to say. Uh, probably not. Ah, dang. What happens if you gave the red salt to your symbiote? It can technically form bodily structures like a mouth. But it is also say. connected to you. It hasn't ever needed to eat. Freaking my clothes want drugs, but I'm a okay. <laughs> Symbiote gets addicted, but you don't. Well, there's science. I'm gonna write that one in the book. You are connected to the symbiote, so there is a possibility. I will not confirm or nor deny that there is a there is a possibility that you will also be affected. Should it take the stuff? It's like injecting into my freaking veins. Injecting it into your clothes. 
badness level negative five. Because <laughs> that stuff was good, but it's told that it's bad for me. <laughs> so good, it's bad. They're magically delicious. <laughs> yeah. You didn't gain any of the uh, mechanical benefits or drawbacks, though, from a tiny amount like that. I need to save the rest for later. <laughs> oh my gosh. We really need to get that stuff away from him. You are all my friends. Good night to you all. Unless it is still day, I have lost track of time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jesus says, says Lily's the only one. <laughs> Good day to you all. It is the late evening. You are in the last quarter of the day. The world is beautiful. Are you okay? I am wonderful if you could not tell. Have you been taking a little something something that I know you have? We gave that to the- we gave the bag that you guys had to the guards! Because no, that did I happen. Know, <laughs> they didn't. Oh wait, did they not? No, no. nobody who tried oh. to find any authority figures. <laughs> well crap, there goes my story. <laughs> I am yeah, fine. Okay. It's just all the stress of battle is finally over. Yes. I don't trust you, I don't trust you. We paid for rooms at the inn together. How dare you not trust me? I, I don't trust that you're you're okay. I'm I'm fine. I almost saw my friend die, but other than that, I, I'm I'm doing I good. Swear if you say that you're fine one more time, I am going to have to like in you or something and find out exactly how you are doing. I am dandy. <laughs> is visibly frustrated, oh, no. but also did. didn't say oh, that no. he was blind. <sighs> okay. Let me see your money bag. I'm... Why? Uh, you want to steal my money? Is that? I thought we were friends. <laughs> I'm gonna start walking towards the door as I say that. <laughs> I just don't trust you with your money. When Very you're, trustworthy. When you are clearly <laughs> like you're high. Mary, Mary oh, no. do I look like I'm high? She just kind of shrugs. I just, like, Gonna give her like a knowing nod. Like, I'll note that the the effects do not uh, the extreme highs of the effect wear off fairly quickly with the small dose. It's just the way that he is acting. But there is a lingering sense. You didn't develop the addiction, so you don't have the the nasty down. <laughs> If you don't want me to act all happy, I can go and cry in my room. Um, no, I just... I'm worried for you. Cute. <laughs> and... I don't know, ever since you started mentioning your money back, I've been having the lingering suspicion that something is weird with it. I've never really had my own financial capabilities before. It's mainly just been Zilros. Yeah, but also... I feel like there's something weird with that money bag. It's, it's driving me nuts. I just want to see it. <laughs> I'm just going to hold it up but not open it. There! Look, you see it? I want, I want to see inside it. There is personal belongings in here that, although I trust you with my life, I do not trust you with knowing my past actions and decisions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like maybe an inch away from like just taking that thing. <laughs> Here, I'll tell you what. After our next mission, if I die, 
you can look in the bag. And you can even have all the money that I have in said bag. I don't want the money. I then why do you want the bag? <laughs> my money! I have money in here! I don't think it's just money. Mm -hmm. Give me... Oh. I am offended. I'm gonna walk out. Protecting it so much. <laughs> I wanna walk out. Like you're just protecting it so much. I don't believe there's just money in there. Come back. What's Stop your bonus? Emerin, up chuck check. <laughs> All right. <laughs> It's a plus zero, so thirteen. Okay. You you have you're not up chucked. Okay. Uh uh no, please. No, don't do that. Stop running <laughs> from me. <laughs> no. Okay, the children will run Let's around town for a little while. We'll just put you guys that. over in the corner. Okay. And just assume that you're, uh, childing it up. <laughs> That's totally what we're doing. Put the kids oh in the corner. God. We're children. <laughs> <laughs> is this how okay. playing is? Is this what playing is? So, oh, at this... <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a friend before. <laughs> <laughs> No! Bad news, Amorin. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> Alright. Uh, at this point, Amorin... Amorin has tried to walk to... If he can... Just find a graveyard. <laughs> okay. Like a morgue or a graveyard or something. Uh. There would be one south of the town in the eastern part. Uh, it was clearly built outside of the town, but then the town's borders expanded past it. Hmm. Yeah, Imran's just gonna go there and just stand in a gra or stand in the graveyard for a bit. It's an awful day for rain. <laughs> Gosh, dang, you can't it's do the that right it's now. only it's the only <laughs> quote in a graveyard I could think of. <laughs> yeah, he's just gonna he's just gonna like stand there. He's gonna kind of like bobble back and forth a bit. But yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just read, <laughs> like I trust your judgment, cheese believer. <laughs> okay, the children are still distracting me. All right. I just kind of wade in the graveyard. Danny's keeping a close eye to make sure he doesn't do something stupid. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, no. Should you want to finally call it in for the day, just tell me that you're gonna go in for the long rest. Yeah, Emerin will bumbly make his way back to the inn. Sure. And get lost on the way. <laughs> or at least try to start walking off in different directions. <laughs> Alright. Uh, well, when Emerin is directed back, I will note that the, uh, uh, no, oh, actually, Emerin and Thanys don't actually know of him, so a hatless version of the, of this guy, oh, he's not visible, one moment, this guy is now hanging out at the evening, but uh, 
Well, these two are running around town. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like I can tell you're reading. <laughs> yeah, I I am. <laughs> I also just noticed you uh, dropped a a book token. That's great. Um, for my recording's sake, book token. <laughs> Too bad Zilros isn't here. <laughs> I know, right? Alrighty. She would get in between us. Good night. So fast. Uh, good night, but good night, Fannies. You're tall. Yeah, good luck in there. Keep a bucket nearby. <laughs> I love how everyone's like starting to go to bed. Oh, and we're just chasing each other around. You're chasing me around. <laughs> okay. I'm chasing him. <laughs> Alrighty. That's not wrong. Well, um, I'm waiting for the declaration so I can go for a, a quick break so I can eat my dinner. Try and sneak back and then Hello. for the long rest. If you take more time, uh, it gives me time to eat. I'm going to be oh, muting for a moment. Well. All right, never mind that. Just as a note for whenever Lily gets back, there is definitely puke in the room. Oh I have a plan for if this doesn't go good. Mm -hmm. uh, also, this is a good time for a bathroom break for those who yeah. need to be told. Gosh, they give me the loveliest, largest meals on D and D night. I thank them so much, but it's so hard to eat them quickly. <laughs> She's thoroughly like confused and totally distracted. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Why have we not been like pulled off? <laughs> We're going too fast to be caught right now. <laughs> I'm going into the inn. I hope you know that if you ask somebody for cheese, I'm going to assume that they are what makes cheese. <laughs> Be prepared. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> you there, Josh? Yep, Appreciate I'm just you. muted. Okay, I'm going to be talking to Fabalon. <laughs> oh, Fabalon. Fabalon. Okay. Yeah. Hey, um. Ah, yes! I have a question. Your do inquiries! You have... Ah, welcome. You have, do you have cheese? And yes, we have goat cheese. Do you have goat loaf? I mean, loaf. He, he yes, is goat loaf made from goat milk. A loaf made out of goat milk. Oh, so now I'm you know what it is. He is talking about mm. actual goat cheese, mm. unless there's a. I don't know, uh, a bread that's made with milk from a goat. I would like to see your cheese goat before you continue. My, <laughs> I don't have a goat that produces cheese on me? me. My point Not is made. Me. Okay, making cheese takes a really mm. long time. <sighs> I'm too yeah, tired um, for One moment. I'm telling you, it is goat loaf. No, it is not. It is called cheese. And unless you made bread with goat milk, I'm not going to call it goat loaf. It's called cheese. All right, he'll come back with this incredibly white um, roll of cheese. See, Thank you. This is cheese. This yeah, is uh, goat cheese. It. I'm too tired for this. This is what is made from the milk of a goat. This is what you are describing. Uh, we also have Siobhan, goat meat, uh, which I can put up on the cooker. Oh, don't worry about that. Yeah, you're good. But I will take a little bit of that cheese. Yeah, all right. Land it over. I have no way of knowing what goat cheese tastes like. It's delicious. <laughs> No better than gold. I will Here, I'll try it. To the cheese non believer. <laughs> Here, so, this is for goat it? cheese? Yes, it is. It's it is uh... goat cheese. <laughs> it's kind of um, <laughs> spreadable in its texture, like a almost. Crumbly or 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 <laughs> buttery, I guess. I'm trying to figure out the description. It says here it's often tart to soft in in taste, and uh, and the uh, texture is almost spreadable, like you could spread it across a piece of bread. Um, and this stuff is a very soft. Nah, let's go tart. It's a very tart flavor. That's about as much as I can provide. Good cheese, my man. How much do I owe you? Do I do I owe you anything? Nah, you've been doing work for the Grand Baker through uh, the guide. You're you're covered. Thank you. Right. Well, are you satisfied now? I'm writing this one in the book. It just feels like a cheap knockoff. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> but. <laughs> <sighs> Can we just go to bed and discuss this in the morning? I am... I do not have the energy for this argument. Also, hello, friend! <laughs> Look who it is. Oh, um... Yep. Hello. I'm tip just... my hat. <laughs> out to get a drink and... Don't you mean tip his hat? Uh, my uh, hat. Yes, technically he should be uh, without mm -hmm. hat. But I can't edit his art. Mm -hmm. Or, more accurately, I won't. Fair enough. <laughs> um, I, uh, I have actually been doing some thinking of how I could help you lot, but, um, perhaps better, uh... I'm not sure. I think, uh, most of your companions are spread about. I like to get things out with everybody, right? Yeah. Besides, it's not like uh, you've done anything recently that would really warrant me bringing this up, right? 
Pretty um, slow on work, I'm guessing, or something. We just got back yeah, from one. We just got back from one, so... Oh. Yeah. Um, I mean, nobody really knew what was going on, right? Uh, there, there's no evidence of it or such that we need to worry about. Evidence of what? Of whatever you did. I nothing mean, I could work with, right? Oh, no, nothing about yeah. that. Your friend, though, the one you like that I'm here with, they almost died. Oh, how dreadful. And are you all right? <laughs> oh, I'm doing fine. I would hate to see all my, uh, my distant <laughs> connections <laughs> uh, harmed. It would be terrible to hear of any of you being hurt. We out so social outcasts have to stick together, after all. That is true. That's fine hat folk. Yes. I don't understand. What do you mean by social out? Well, anyone that doesn't. Centaur is not exactly. Uh, uh, the the Thanny's is. Are you actually at the tavern, or did you go to settle in for the night? No, I'm, I'm here for now. All right. Oh, a centaur, uh, an elf. And you and uh, the other are covered up. You you have a, um, by my experiences, likely not tiefling, a, a ifrit in your midst. Um, we're all not really looked favorably upon by the common man, and so we're social outcasts. Uh, what makes you a social outcast? I was once a proud member of the aristocracy of Inosnia. Now he's not. Story done. Let him tell his story. <laughs> I, I was born to wealth, and I'm hated by the common man for it. Sadly, I am now not much more than them, save except my education skills, for my wealth was lost to the Calamitous Dragon 20 years ago. Okay. That's like a while ago. I have been traveling around trying to make my mark in the land, but everybody doesn't like the fact that I was an, arist um, an aristocrat, and I will not back down from my proud family lineage. He, he does this with, like, his hand on his heart and, like, kind of does a look up into <laughs> the, the ceiling like he's, he's telling a really meaningful story and giving a heartfelt conversation. Or speech, up. more like. One, I don't think the fact that they had that you had money and others didn't is the reason why they didn't like you. Oh, trust me, most of the common folk despise the aristocracy simply because we had the wealth to do as we pleased. Like a hat. Um, and because they had to pay taxes to us. Oh, what's the taxes? That would do it. Well, the Empire had to maintain its structure somehow. Most of our money went over to the military anyway. Well, most of the tax we collected, I mean. We still kept our own treasury and of sorts, but... It's not much of a matter anymore. It was 20 years ago, but they still hold a grudge for my position. <laughs> besides, Sorry. besides, and this isn't about me anymore. Uh, about you, uh, this job you did, uh, was, was it, uh, well known? Did everybody, did I simply just not hear the news of it or something? No, no not really. It was, it was kind of given to us by this guy, Thumbs, uh. Ah, yes. Yeah. Um, and, uh, well, essentially, I mean, second one we were supposed to figure out uh what was making these goats disappear all right and livestock uh, he like almost raises his voice just a little bit more you mean livestock was going missing yes livestock. the food they chain of the city who could have been in danger goats too go on go on and then he kind of lowers uh, back down to the same tone as before the goats got grabbed 
and nabbed and bit. Uh, anyway, they were giant, almost like cockroach creatures that were burrowing under the ground and would come up and eat the goats. Horrific. They bought a goat from the farmer, or from one of the farmers, and lured most of, I think most of them up, and we killed them. Voila! Job done. We brought back their heads, gave them to the guard. You, uh, you job done. We got paid. You have the heads? In his lower tone, you, you have heads of these things? One of them. Well, yeah, but I I don't know. Where did... Thanny's had it. Thanny's? Thanny's had it. Thanny's. So, you're saying, and then he raises his voice a bit more, you slew a massive, horrific insect eating the livestock of the town? What a wonder! You can tell there's a bit more attention focused at your table from the few people mm-hmm. drinking uh, before they set off for their homes. Yeah! We uh, did! Shout that too. Quite did. a heroic thing! We only did it for the things. I did it for the goats. That too. I <laughs> Can I fake a sneeze as everyone's looking over? <laughs> sure. Like a, like a performance or a deception? An intimidation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gonna, uh, well, I'm sure we're going to hear even greater stories from you and your band of adventurers. Maybe. Okay. Um. Yeah. At some point, we sh- I'd, he kind of goes back down to his lord. At some point, uh, in the coming days, maybe we should meet up. Um, yeah. See, I'm thinking, we're not really going to get anywhere with you lot as you've been. So, when we get the chance, I have some ideas of ways we might be able to bolster your uh, influence in Boulder Dawn. If you catch what I mean. Wink. What you wink? Are you okay? Is your eye okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Is your eye okay? Yes. Oh, whoa. Oh. <laughs> I see. Wink. <laughs> anyway. Wait, is your eye okay? No, yeah, my eyes are fine. Um, I, th- I feel this may not be the best time. To go full in on the plan yet, so I'm going to finish up my drink and retire um, to my bed, and we can talk again sometime when you've got more of your companions together to chat about it. Eh? Yes, I'll be. Uh, I'll be here. The Grand Banker doesn't really intend to see me, and the Mayor Duke. What an egregious title! Uh, it still tra- cracks me up. Uh, he's not in town, so I can't a- appeal to him either. We, we will talk again some time later, yes? Yes, we will. Wink, wink. <laughs> mm. Wink. Is your eye okay? Wink. Do you have something stuck And he'll uh, sip down the last of his drink and get up and kind of give a little wave before walking into the inn. And... Oh. Okay. I don't like him. <laughs> he's a whiner. I really don't like him. You know why he's a whiner? Because he lost the cool hat. <laughs> he was a ha- a whiner before he lost the hat. The hat was the source of his power. <laughs> it's actually a plus six charisma bonus magical hat. <laughs> Would really need that. <laughs> I have a seven in charisma. <laughs> Oh, uh, anyway. Where? Wait. Is Toaster still outside? Or did he go to his room? Sorry, his token is just outside, so I'm like, assuming he's outside? I think he was in the room while we were talking. Okay. Alright. Oh, help. Oh. Well, 
I seriously think that you should let me see inside the bag, but I'm gonna let it go for now. But I swear if I see you get this giddy after going to your room and then coming out five minutes later. Fine, I won't, I won't be happy anymore if that's what you want. I want you to be normal happy. Not okay. Outrageously happy. After what happened, I'll try. I'm gonna start heading to my room. <laughs> good night. And good night. When I get in my room, I'm gonna start crying as loud as possible. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, in the next room, Imran's just like puking up his stomach. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be great. I'm, the nice wooden floor. I'm gonna go up to the, the bartender here and I'm just gonna ask if they have anything for headaches. <laughs> We have goat loaf. It's cheese. Hey, Bob. Oh gosh, it's apparently late because my mouth is not working. Babylon. Ah, uh, yes? Do you have anything that can help with headaches? Uh, well, I can, uh, provide you a cup of some water. Not much uh, beyond that. <sighs> okay. Sure, I'll take anything at this point. Alright, I'll get you a cup of water. Not exactly chilled, but it's not exactly warm. Eh, it's fine. Lukewarm's fine. Thank you. You uh... okay? I'm just tired. <laughs> like, dealing with the guy I don't like, and then uh, Solar just, you know, not showing me his bag and arguing My that money. Loaf is the thing. Okay. <laughs> well. I'm just like, uh, I'm tired. <laughs> and, and as me, knowing that Imran has just thrown up all over the floor. She's not looking forward to it. <laughs> Never said it was on the floor. Yeah, you just said that you threw up, though. I mean, there's one other place to throw up in this room. <laughs> oh. Please don't say you threw up in the bed. Oh gosh, okay. Well, might as well get this over with. So, you going to bed too, Toaster? <sighs> Alright, well. I'll see you tomorrow morning, I guess. Da -da 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 -da. Good night, Mary. Alright. Thank you. And I'm gonna go in. To the corner. <sighs> okay. I assume that you're saying that you are all retiring for a long rest. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, After the night of rest. Nope. During the night of rest. <laughs> Imran. Mm-hmm. Okay. You're standing in your home foyer. Red, uh, uh, the red adornments of imperial flyers are well adorn- uh, well, stretched across the space. Banners hanging, uh, near the- the windows. You're awaiting, mm -hmm. uh, your family friend. And you kind of got this sensation of anxiety um after your parents died you had agreed to 
offer over uh, you've you've agreed to uh, kind of a, a trust between you and and his family that uh, whatever you uh, that should you pass away as your family has seemingly been prone to a recent bout of deaths that your wealth would go to good hands and be entrusted to their family and you are going to finally show your your childhood friend the treasure trove that you've collected that uh that's been entrusted to you you uh you're kind of excited because you're also thinking the two of you have long thought of probably um trying to use the wealth of your families to maybe try and found a new town or city um the empire hasn't really built any new settlements and there's plenty of land to do so and you're sure with this amount you can finally pressure the the local authorities if not even just reach out straight to the queens to let you build a small settlement maybe somewhere in the uh, uh in the bellum extent but if if need be since the two of you are not afraid of maybe a little bit of adventure maybe even settling a little outside the borders in the scar you hear it's nasty but it can't be that nasty especially if you can get the right kind of help I mean, there are other settlements out there. You kind of anxiously waiting for your for your uh, friend to arrive, um, and eventually you hear a knock on the door. It's been a few days since you've seen him, but it's it's great to see him again. It's. It, it's been a while since you've seen Havilar, uh, 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 Halivar Zanrin. He, uh, has his typical, uh, issues with being, uh, well socialized. Uh, he doesn't, uh, quite fit fully in. He forgets the, the customary process of removing one's own coat before, uh, moving any further into the, to the home and, with the staff off duty at the moment to uh, make sure nobody can follow down to the uh, follow you and and uh, get a peek, shall we say, at the treasure trove, you have to remind him. It's and uh, as you lead him down toward the uh, toward the vault and open it up. Uh, you feel a... You, you hear a movement behind you. And you wake, realizing those were not your memories. You have this strange sensation, this strong, seething hatred, this anger inside yourself. And it's reminiscent of when you might read another's emotions. It's not yours, it's someone else's that's been imposed. But you do remember some things from whatever it was you just experienced. The person you saw, he had a he had a strange deformation along the right side of his face. Not exactly scar, but the tissue was scar-ish in its look. And he the person you saw had a um hemochromia, two differently colored eyes. And you can feel, you can remember, this person was named Havar Zanrin. I will leave you with that. It is uh, Halivar, sorry, Halivar Zanrin. All right. The rest of you awake. Uh, you all uh, arise from your long rest, restore HP, uh, spell slots, and expended resources. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Imran will wake up, have a bit of a headache. Oh yeah, you got a strong headache. All right. He will see the uh, vomit on the bed, and he'll immediately just get to work cleaning that up. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, he's just gonna. He's he's just gonna go and start cleaning that himself. Like, go find a well or something. All right. I don't know where. I'll to say do with a little laundry. extra time in the morning. Uh, having woken up from a strange dream. You have a bit more time to uh, clean up your mess while the others uh, get to their awakening and are able to take care of what you left behind. So, you've had your rest. What now? I'm fixing or I'm Fair enough. a different spell. Take care of your character sheets. Just you know, tell me when you want to do something. You're always in control of your characters, except for when you're not. <clears throat> but I'll let you know when that happens. And it's not often. <clears throat> Stretch move out. Good morning, Mary. <clears throat> Would it weird him out if I sat at the table with him? Or Do you? fun old friend. I, I will. Alright. Here. <laughs> he will just kind of eye you. He doesn't get weirded out. Um, but you know, he just kind of He's kind of eyeing, maybe keeping an eye out for if any uh, more of you will come. <laughs> Lily will not describe her character actions, so I assume she's still there. Sorry. Yeah, um, sorry, I was still fixing. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I'm just um, being impatient. Yeah. Ah, sorry. Just trying to move the sheet. Okay. Morning. Morning. Mm, you okay? About. Um, um. Yeah, I, I told you the alcohol's not good. <laughs> oh, that was great. I regret nothing. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Oh. oh, you know, I, I was, wanna, I almost want to say what would mother say, but on the other hand, <laughs> mother, mother would say, get back in the house. That's true. Shall I move a toaster for, yeah, altar? Oh, okay. You're good. I just know that uh, at least for altar, you have to type out everything, so, you know. Oh. It's not always, uh, it's not always as, uh, appropriate to demand a player have to describe and state every single thing that they want to do when they are having difficulty being able to communicate. 
Why are the ones with voice? Uh, you guys have no excuse. You should tell me what you're doing. <laughs> I was fixing my calendar. I know, I know. I'm just being a bird. <laughs> just being a jerk, huh? What else is new? Ah. Well, uh, it's good to see that you're alive. Uh, I was a little concerned there. He definitely seemed uh, fresh. Kept good track of him. Yeah, it was all right. He didn't do anything too weird. Oh, that's good. Well, uh, no ale in the morning. Uh, that's a bad idea. So here uh, we've got some uh, goat milk. Pop, pop, and he'll provide some breakfast. Some... Out of curiosity, what do you call this, Solar? Goat milk? Yeah. Goat milk. Mm. Pop. Thank you. Doesn't seem very creative. Do you want me to call goat milk cow milk? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Please don't. Nipple water. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> yeah, I'll down it to that. Ah, oh, well. I'll, uh, save you the, oh, by the way, these guys are not here. You're the only customers here right now. No! <laughs> oh, the only well, customers that come in. there's been, uh, their table. Few things going around in the few days uh, past. I hear that you guys uh, dealt with some big nasty insect. A few of the boys in the uh, were uh, talking about overhearing something about that conver uh, conversation. On that, sounds exciting. That it was. T terrifying is more the accurate description. Ah well. You know, the freelance sellsword type life isn't exactly one uh, for the, uh, for the faint of heart, right? Oh, it wasn't yeah, scary they were... for me. It was scary for, uh, Zilleros and Solar. Ah. Well. Wow. Nasty little beasties. <laughs> they almost died. <laughs> mm. Oh, boy. I've been hearing so many things passing by. I saw a few strange things. You know, I've been hearing some word of... The kinds of travelers we might be getting into town, and that's always exciting. Uh, you know, people passing people on the road, smaller uh, smaller caravans overturning bigger ones and stuff. We had a few guys from Kelshakel come in just the other day. They didn't uh, seem to be uh, too kindly. Uh, they always kind of hit or miss on their uh, social standards. Uh, hmm. no, we, uh, I, I just, uh, can't really even grasp what's going on. Now remind me, Kalshlakel, is that out by the scar? Oh, that's uh, down near the uh, ruins of the old capital of the Empire. Uh, mm. they, they pull molten metal right out of the uh, volcanic fissures left behind by that big dragon. Become a big means of military equipment production for them. They, they make armor and weapons out of it. They call it soot steel. Apparently it's a bit... Uh, grittier surface texture, but otherwise no real different. Mm. I mean, appearances have to count for something. Oh yeah, and they, they always have these really nasty, scary kind of designs. Uh, you know, very mean looking eye slits and such. Uh, and they're not exactly the most kindly folk, but I mean, they are living right next to those hobgoblins. If anybody has to be mean, it probably would be them. Mm. I don't know, we've seen some pretty mean people up here ourselves already. Oh, surely. I mean, you're gonna find a lot of nasty stuff all around, but... Yeah, we're talking organized we're... mean. Yeah, these guys are mm. armed up and militarized already. They're kind of the remnants of the Alliance's uh, meager military force after the Empire fell and the Hobgoblin conflict and such. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've also heard a number of little rumors passing by, uh, you know, tiny things. Uh, some people who stopped in uh, just pretty early in the morning, they took a few of the, the rooms in the uh, inn, actually, said that they had encountered a collection of 
insects on the western road toward the town. Really? Yeah. You get this. This is the crazy part. They said they were headless. They were headless and walking around. Wait. Interesting. Yeah, they apparently attacked the uh, attacked this uh, small traveling group of three people, uh, distant travelers. I, I would garner probably cross the seas kind of folk. They definitely didn't seem to really understand the social norms here and such. Uh, luckily, apparently the the travelers' bodyguards were able to take care of the the husks and. But yeah, it was apparently some real nasty work. Uh, the headless bugs walking around attacking people on the road. I think the situation is getting worse. Yeah. A lot of nasty things. I'm also hearing rumors of hamlets and uh, travelers vanishing from the road. Of course, you can't really confirm a rumor of travelers vanishing off the side of the road because uh, there's... If everybody in a traveling group's disappearing, <laughs> there's nobody to tell that story. Now, yeah. unless... Let me ask you something. Ever heard of a... I forget if we've already asked. I forget if this is a name that we've already asked about. But have you heard of a person named Halivar Zanrin? You did ask about Zanrin. Halivar is a bit... Bit... No? Yeah, uh... I'm not sure. Hmm. He takes a moment, thinks. Something kind of works across his face and is like, Nah, I've never heard of anybody by that name, sorry. Is he, is he lying to me? That's an insight check. Alright. It's 12 plus, uh, page. Where are you? Uh, that's 17. 17. He definitely seems to maybe be holding a little something back. A little? Yeah. yeah. Ah. Sorry. Are you sure you don't Look, need me? I, I am... I am tired. And we need to solve an issue. This person might be the key to solving that issue. Might be able to help. I'm going to I'm gonna slap down uh, five gold onto the table. Oop. Do you do you know anything at all? Is this money worth anything to you? I'm sorry. I I, I can't help in that regard. Uh... Mm. Uh, okay. And <laughs> um, answer me this then. Those, the, the headless bug creatures, where exactly were they? They said they encountered them along the western trail near the river, the, um, grazing fields. Not where we were. I don't really remember. That would be about where you were. You went out into town to the western grazing fields to deal with the uh, bugs hunting bugs. problem. Yeah. I think we might have accidentally incurred this. Please, no. I don't think intentionally, though. I think this might have been a result of something else taking over, but I'm not positive. Yeah. Well, I mean... That's what it sounds like to me. A lot of it's just rumor. I mean, mm -hmm. they might have been seeing things, though their weapons did seem to have been used. Perhaps they were uh, encountering some wild mm -hmm. beasts and just were seeing stuff. But it is an interesting story, isn't it? That it is. Yeah, that it is. I don't put enough stock on just traveling rumor. Hmm. Of course not. No. How do you know what they Maybe. say? Every uh, 
story has a kernel of truth, right? Except the ones my old man used to make. Uh -huh. <laughs> He'll kind of chuckle to himself about that one, but it's clearly a personal joke. I just, like, laughed at his joke. <laughs> oh. So not, like, a real laugh. It was, like, a ha-ha-ha laugh. Like, should I be laughing at this? <laughs> okay. Oh, gosh. Sorry, one moment. Mm -mm. Sorry, I just had to prevent hiccups. Anyway. Um, oh, right, where was I? Uh I I have I have to get back to uh Well No, I don't really have anybody uh bother me, but uh, I'm kind of jack out of Rumor, unless you want to talk the rumors of, you know, the intricacy <laughs> claims of politics and the difficulties of the new settlements in various parts and the city-state interactions and such. Yeah, I can make do without that information, thank you. <laughs> yeah. It tends to be not really valuable to sell swords and freelancers until, of course, it is valuable. But, you know where to find me. Yep. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> All right. Unless you guys do something, he's going to so see about the I'll opportunity. Turn... I was no. gonna turn over to the nobleman. I don't suppose you that name rings a bell to you, does it? Oh, uh, actually, I wasn't listening in. I was engrossed in my breakfast. Uh, what name was it? Really? I thought you can get enough of us. Well, uh, a man needs his time off. Halivar Zandran. Halivar! Oh, that name takes me back. Yes, I, I know that name, yes. He was a northern noble, young lad at the time. His parents was were old. He was uh, born with some... I remember correctly, he wasn't so favorable. He had some difficulties with the... Uh, with courtship because of some kind of... physical... traits. I never met the man myself. Heard that it was something about his face that many of the noble ladies didn't care for much. But I suspect that's not what matters to you. I suspect what might be of interest to you is that, yes, I do recognize that name. And I remember the most important news about him was that just before the Empire was going down, he had inherited quite a large sum of treasure coin from a family friend, another noble family. Hmm. I know I knew their name, but I can't remember it on the moment, but, uh... The young family had their, uh... A number of them died fairly quickly. The young lad was left with a family's worth of fortune and then supposedly succumbed to sickness himself. I, however, uh... I question that since the Imperial Lodge Estate was going to investigate the circumstances of such. Why do you ask? Just old rumors that I remembered. As I said, he could be a key into a particular task we're chasing down. Yes. Sadly, I never met him myself, despite being of northeastern authoritiship. I never bothered too much to spend time with the exceptionally young nobles. Uh, they, uh, they were prone to being involved with 
practices I tried to keep my distance from, though I was not without my knowledge of them. You're a little wiser than you look, then. Well, I've made my mistakes in my life, and, uh, but, uh, I was not as interested in getting involved with devil worship and pacts and such. Mm. Or the best, I suppose. Yes. Many, many of those situations didn't turn out too favor favorably after the fall of the Empire. No, I suspect not. Though I know a handful of them. So I guess the devil worshipping group got together and formed that that dreadful keep not too far from what used to be my homeland that uh those hell knights dreadful folk that burn down a village just because they think a demon has been there mm. interesting not entirely the most not entirely unwarranted oh i reckon not if the stories of demons and devils are to be uh, believed but uh and in some of my experiences, I can say that some of those stories are, in fact, true. But, uh... Well, regardless. Yes, regardless. That seems a little harsh, though. I mean, what if there wasn't? I mean, they just burned down an entire village because they heard rumor? Oh, well, certainly. There? And they would try to provide some evidence. Every claim has come with some form of proof. Though, I question the validity of those proofs. <laughs> Regardless, the last thing you heard about this Halifar is that he ran off somewhere. Yes. Well, he was going to be under investigation by the Imperial uh, authorities, um, but then the calamity struck. I don't know where he ended up, though his... Home estate wasn't struck by the vile beast, so there's a likelihood he might have survived and got away with the uh, wealth of treasure available to him. After all, the queens didn't stick around to be able to enforce their law, death being, as it is, a very final divider. Well, thank you. You have been useful. Oh, that is my goal, which reminds me, in other ways of usefulness, I, I, I have to ask... Hmm, pardon me, but uh, I must ask, do you have yourselves maybe like some kind of name? I realized last night when trying to slightly bolster your... Uh, rapport amongst the people, at least within, that it's a little hard to advertise somebody without an advertisable name. I'm only asking because it is of use. Uh, I do not wish to push if you have your own plans on when to reveal or such a thing or such. Uh, please just make sure I'm present when it happens, yeah? All right. Does anyone have a suggestion for a name? The greatest. Yeah. <laughs> we don't. We don't have a name yet. We will let you know if we decide. Ah, well, that's good. The second part is strategy. I've come up with a strategy that might help you as a group. Uh, see, the thing is, is you're not going to make it very far doing what's expected of you. So I was thinking. Uh. Perhaps we could find something of beyond your expectations to really get the crowd's attention. It doesn't actually have to be a big deal. It just needs to be believed to be a big deal by the common folk. If I could have some idea of maybe some kind of villainous monster or, or bandit leader. I have heard that there's been bandits in these parts who's particularly nasty. I could start spreading rumors for you. Look, I... I very much appreciate what you're trying to do. 
but there are those in my in this group specifically myself who would prefer to remain a little bit more low profile well that's fair enough but uh i put forward Fame as a heroic figure does have a way of swaying people's opinions about things that they otherwise would despise. I could kill a bandit leader. Yes. We just have to make sure that he's... that he's infamous in the town before it happens. That way you can claim a bunch of glory. Maybe if we can get something big enough, we can even get a freaking, I mean, sorry, pardon my speech. We can get an audience with that uh, grand banker. Maybe even the Mayor Duke if he arrives in town by, the, by that time. Then you'll Listen. raise in status. You'll be more effective. You only really need a few of you to act as figure faces. You can write yourselves off as a mercenary or a freelance band. Or... Go the old route of the adventurers. I know that stuff like that happened in the West and even in here in the Empire. Before, of course, the Empire was no more. I get what you're saying, but I'm a patient man. I'm fine with just waiting to hear about someone infamous like that and then dealing with them. Well, I don't oh, need to expedite that. Certainly, then. But if something of worth comes up, maybe... I can just help people be aware of it. It doesn't need to be too embellished, though every great adventurer's stories are a little embellished. That's true. I don't have a problem with that. Well, if you find yourselves with something that needs to be dealt with, uh, just let me know. I'll make sure people know it's a problem that's going on. That's all that's really... The issue is just making sure people are aware of what's threatening their lives. A lot of these common folk don't even pay attention until it's at their throat. So, or until someone's talking about it. You're like someone who spreads news. I mean... Like a... What do you call those people who like throw newspapers? Oh, I wouldn't the... consider myself a town crier. But, uh, I can... I believe he's trying to sponsor us. I can speak to the people who come in who get drunk, or or make speeches for you when you return from a valiant battle, just to give you a bit more rapport. People need to believe your heroes, and they'll give you bigger jobs. And the bigger the jobs you take, the more heroic you'll look, and what do you know? Suddenly, you're important in town. And with importance comes... Privileges. <laughs> oh, are privileges and consequences the same thing nowadays? Only depends on how poorly you dodge the consequences. Well, I mean, as you've so wonderfully said to pretty much everyone in our group that we're social outcasts because of our blood. Yes! <laughs> My blood? I'm going to uh, help in a couple of our cases. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And what? You see, they don't expect much from you, so it's even easier to outshine their expectations. A grand okay. act of heroics is almost always overlooked. No, sorry, my wording. And any preconceived notions will be immediately overlooked if people know that you directly saved their lives, even if they weren't witness to that saving. Some people will always be sticklers, of course. You'll always have your haters, but I'm sure that as long as you're not too egregiously troublesome to the people, uh, you should do great. Yeah, but on the other hand, you just, like, not five minutes ago, told us about a group of people who burned down villages just for the slight mention that there might be demons. Well, I mean... Not that you're going to have any problems with that. Yes, I mean, you seem like you probably have something to hide, of course, but I suspect you're not going to have too much issue. Of course not. 
Does he know that we're tieflings? <laughs> <laughs> you seem disguised well enough for him to not know. He suspects you're disguised for a reason. Oh gosh, he doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I really wanted to speak of, uh, was that, and of course the last piece was, is I'm willing to do this part, but uh, don't forget to make sure that I'm there when important conversations occur with the local authorities. That way I can uh, finally do my part for the town's growth as well as your own growth. He just wants fame and fortune. Uh, uh, that was mumbled under my breath, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Look. What if we don't want to be great? What if we want to be semi noticeable? As I said, I appreciate what you're doing and what you're trying to do for us, I suppose. You know what? Never mind. This is up to you guys. I I will just follow this. I will follow this group for the time being. And know that I am truly invested in your your growth. It's not just a personal pursuit. I invested my hat into this. It's true. Yeah, he did. I tip my hat. You feel a weight shift in it. What the? <laughs> I take it off again. Mm. You don't find anything. <laughs> you know, something wrong with your hat? No, I just, I think my noggin's gotten so used to the hat that every time I tip it, it feels like my skull moves. That seems wrong. Are you good? I'm going to just motion to one of my tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. All right. But what do you mean looks feels wrong? This is what I can do. This might be normal, for all I know. Motioning to my head. Oh. Just, you know, keep me in the know. Yes, and... And I wish you the greatest. Uh, I... However, I'm the most accustomed with conversation with the more fanciful folk. So, uh, I mean, uh, how is it that uh, the common folk say it? Uh, it's a good day, yes? Yes. We uh, are, are uh, nope, I can't. Uh, I'm... Anyway, uh, with those points of business out of the way, I... I really don't uh, have much more on that to say. You just keep really in mind. A, a good, advertisable name. And, uh, let me know your accomplishments. Give me opportunities to embellish your stories, and I... We can go great places. Yeah, we'll keep it in mind. Well, I know one uh, name that we shouldn't do. Please, for the love of everything good, do not let us call ourselves the Hell Risers. That's Why would we call like, ourselves that? That's a weird. That doesn't sound like a bad <laughs> idea. <laughs> Why? I don't it does. Think anybody that wasn't. That up. Yeah, that wasn't on my mind at all. <laughs> it was on mine. <laughs> now it's entered the scene. <laughs> No, that's... Team a, Low. Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one of our uh, great quests were technically Beatles, right? Giant Beatles. <laughs> I don't know, we killed... We killed frogs. The frogs. Hmm. <laughs> I forgot about the frogs. I was trying to forget them, actually. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Alright. 
Bye bye. Okay, we'll see ya. Okay. Well, I was about to describe that as uh, as you're sitting there and the conversation comes to the an end, the tavern to in door will open and three figure figures will walk through. Mm. Kind of almost clearing a space for the uh, for this uh, two in full plated armor and one uh, lady who doesn't quite look like she's from around these parts. Um, you still have the job from the guide that you could take on. Something is going on with Mary. And who knows what else might be up. Maybe the wizard's informant guy will have arrived. But uh, with Squid going out and there is not enough time to run a combat encounter should one come up, um, I might call it early for tonight. Mm. Just so that we have time to do whatever adventure you want to take on.